Hey, what's up, everybody? Just time to TV. Back when I played through of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, just be part three of this playthrough. I am so sorry about the first two videos because the audio fucked up. I was um, using my MacBook mic to like record my voice instead of using my microphone. So sorry about that. So let's start the third playthrough. Matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? What? We're good girls. We don't spread rumors. Huh? We're the little tipsters. Everyone in town calls us that. I wonder what that means anyway. Maybe when we get bigger, we'll finally figure it out. Huh? What? You? what? What? Can't you see we're busy? These are new girls. I don't remember these girls in the GameCube version. I know we're super cute enough, but that doesn't mean you can just come up and talk to us whenever you like, jeepers. That's for the upset thing. Yeah, we're good. No matter how much money you give us, we won't tell you anything. Nope, nothing. That's right, not even for two rubies. Uh, here. Oh, really? You're gonna give us rubies? Yippee, we each get one whole ruby. Ah, we're still not gonna tell you anything. Not even anything. See tiny rumor. Yeah, we would never tell you about that strange guy dressed from head to toe in green who's locked up in a town jail. But I wonder if he's related to you. That's a rumor, huh? What? Oh, they don't repeat the same dialogue. So. So I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black splotch pig too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. I let him a shirt to graze over yonder. But the thing is, I can't stop worrying about the little guys. Hey, just so you know, if you ever have money issues, I give good financial advice. You come talk to me anytime, chum. I may not look rich, but I got plenty of cash. Really? How much? Shop. Nice. Gonna buy bombs? This be the bomb shop. Oh yeah, I need a bomb bag or something. Whoa! 10,000 rubies? 20,000? 30,000? This to me, boy. You're out of your mind. You can't pay for these, so let's get around. Can't really? Do these look like something you can't afford? Huh? Come on now. How's a kid like you going to pay for these? You're dreaming. My ancestors have been making bombs for generations. Uh huh. Now. Seems like I'm the only person left in the world who still works in the bomb ni industry. Which means I'm the best in the world. Which means I don't go selling my work while approving of who I sell it to. And I don't approve of you, so beat it. So I need... Wait, what do you say? Just bomb shop? I didn't call for you, boy. Go on. Now, beat it. It's a punk. I need like a note or someone can acknowledge me. There's something back here, yeah. There we go. Hey, up the wall, Lee. Hey, there we go. So this is Huh? This is Daddy's to take a little peek in the corner. So cute. Something back there. Has to be. 
Shoot, beat it, scram, vermin. <laughs> so I guess later on I gotta sneak in the bomb shop. So talk to these little girls. Please, young boy. There, please help me. Please listen to my tale wall. Okay. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter. Poor Maggie, she was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mis mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single ruby, you know? Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here, I stand begging. I hope you give those grunts. <laughs> I have my voice. Scoundrels in the Forsaken Forge is a good scare. They'll pay for what they have done. Oh yes, pay. Being rich. Young boy. Oh, very young boy who promised to rescue my daughter Maggie. Hurry, you must hurry. You can't dwaddle. I'm so very worried about my daughter. We can't even sleep at night. Please, whatever you do. I mean, whatever you can do. Anything. I beg of you. I beg of you. Please. I'm counting on you. Please do yourself a hire some, you know, real bodyguards. I'm so worried about an hour. I can't even sleep at night. That's a new dollar. Let's see, let's see what's up here. I look so happy. You don't look at all familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our windfall island may be a little cozy, so to speak. But people from all over the world come here. The town's always lively. Haha, -ha, why? Just walking around and having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. <coughs> so anyway, taking souls is kind of like a hobby of mine. I'm always moving, buddy. But do you think it's strange for a young guy like me to walk around so much? Well, whatever. I'll tell you one thing. Because I take so many strolls, I know all the best walking courses in town. Take that little path beside the bomb shop, for example. How many people in town know that it kind of sneaks around behind the building? I think I'm the only one, buddy. Nope, I just went there earlier. That's funny. Oh, no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh, there, pardon me. Pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wally absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even know I was a little old oh, you standing there. I am topped. I love dancing more than three meals a day. People come to me, know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two. One, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. Dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. What? I can remember those famous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? I don't think so. Not yet. I don't remember. 
That magical dance that changes day into night and night into day. If I could recall the room, all of the room, then I could dance it perfectly. Let's get Highlight Rainbow and come back. <laughs> what a happy guy. Oh, shit, I must kill him. That's fine, man. Oh, I should have talked to him before. Oh, yeah, then I'm free. Oh, crap. Mr. Bella! Hooray! Thank you all so very much! Here is Tingo's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingo, Tingo, Kulo, Lumpa, become an item. <laughs> Put his hand up, too. You got a tingle bottle. Using me reverse to answer a message she had written and sent it out to sea for someone unknown to receive. Say it to a uh, beware that you can't write letters if you're not connected to me reverse. Mr. Fairy, are you familiar with me reverse? Would it message put in this bottle can be sent to fairies <laughs> the world over? A communication of minds, hearts beating as one. Just don't write anything upside it, okay? Not that I'll have to remind you, Mr. Fairy. Splendid! Tingo is returned now to his own special island. Will you come find him? Are you in the camera too though? Ah, oh, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Yes, please. We got Tingo's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to see and then check your charts on the map screen to find out. Open it. On the map screen, if you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. And if you'd like to give your Tingle bottles that little extra oomph that all Tingles crave, you should check the back of the cell. Check it right out. You can now send letters in Tingle's bottles by using Reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, so sh let me show you guys the message. Yeah, it doesn't work. Say so Tingle Ball, it's the same you can even use Pitto Box to include a Pitto Graph for your message. Pick up Tingle Balls that you find lying on beaches or floating in the sea to read letters other people have written. You can adjust your message setting at any time from the setting screens. Uh... Allow tingle balls for viewers, anyone? Allow tingle balls for spoilers, don't receive. There we go. Damn, we are one of these bottles. There's a camera around here. Yeah, why are these mushrooms around here? Oh shit, there's Ruby here. Let's get that Ruby. That's Tico's secret stash, huh? Why are the mushrooms on his bed? And they ran a spider web too. Ah! Secret passage. And then let's go left. And right. And left. Oh no! <laughs> what an asshole! Okay, let's follow all in. That makes no sense. There's no hole or anything in this cave. They just fall out of nowhere and they start from the beginning. Okay. Sorry, can dawdle. <laughs> yeah, he's consistent on his begging spree. Yeah. Nice 
asking about this game, it's easy to find what it is. Just leave the door, just hit those pots over and over. Chop ahead. Um, right. Oh, I made it. Awesome something. No, did I stop from the beginning? Oh my god. Damn it. Too late. Why are your head so big? And I'm like crawling backward. <laughs> Looks funny. It's crawling backward. Skills. Box. Use it. I mean, set to blah blah blah. You can record up to 12 pictographs. Press ZR to view your pictographs. Yep. There's skulls here. Oh, I can restart here. Damn, no. At last, I have succeeded in assuming the picture box I've desired for so long. Succeeded, yes. But sadly, due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I have been imprisoned, but I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my captors. 
I decide to hide it here in the depths of my cell, and then make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. Of course, if I ever su I mean, successfully escape from this prison, I shall one day return to recover the picture box. I will write the controls for it in case I should forget them. Said so the blah blah blah. There's 80 snapshots. LR also works. Use joystick to zoom in and out. Crazy R just switched to his delightful pictograph viewing mode. It saves up to 12 pictographs at one time. Oh, how it pains me to leave it. I just wish I could get out of here so I could start taking pictographs. Oh, what the? What's here? Big bad, there's so much skull heads here. Special skulls. Skeleton bodies. Okay, let's swat down. Hello. <laughs> so, three tingle. Set the pictograph. Set the some people. Okay, get away from that old man. Boy, do you happen to see the post box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send someone a letter, just say to Rula and use the button to put it in the post box. It's just that easy. Before long, the retail postman will come to you. Deliver it to whomever you have sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. I wonder if the retail postman has already come today. Why well, do you care so much? People from all over the world seem to gather here on Winko Island. All hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say that this is where I land, where people and money come together. But you know what? Money is important. Sure, but don't you think people need to open their hearts a little more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. Hmm, I can't sit that one up and just enjoy the view. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzard blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, it's a trouble with Tipper Stone descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet yeah, mysterious only that escaped well so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you need you are a traveler as well. Oh yes indeed. Can you not purchase that for me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that. Despite the fact they will help them travel the dangerous seas about their own. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does a ruby sound? I don't need it. Oh, oh well, dear me, sadly I have nothing else I could possibly sell you. I have not but my hoodie coat. But, and it is a keepsake from my dear, dear mother. I'm sure he's the one that sells it. So... My dear fellow, I can't have you trying to come in this way. No, no, no. Go over there. Don't try to let me. I'm fine, fine. Okay, I will buy yourself. Please buy that for me. Please purchase my only belonging. That is very, very fine thing indeed. I just moving a room, so. 
Yes, 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 thank you very much indeed. I received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh, dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master, so, uh, as I promised. Please, take that. Is this that? Yep, you got it. A bolt cell, press A while I'm about to pull it out, and B again to put it away. Yes, 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 you have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest cell in the world. Treat it as such. Mm -hmm. is a warm and bustling place. I, deem, I do believe I shall settle and open my business here. Yes, yes, that is a problem. Oh yes, I must say, if you happen to come across a delivery bag that looks handy for carrying products, let me know. The first thing I must do is to find products to sell. Delivery bag? Do I have one? Guess not. Let's go upstairs. Is that coffee? Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. Oh, can I help you with something? Let's talk. When I falls right here, this place fills up with all these sour, swervy sellers. In fact, there's this little boat called a shop ship that allows, I mean, that shows up at night and cruises around the island selling things. I'm not sure what the story is with that. I guess what I'm trying to tell you here is that this town has two faces, the nice, pretty one you see in a day, and the darker, shadier one you see at night. But I suppose you're, I mean, I suppose that's too heavy a concept for a youngster like yourself, eh? Coffee beans back there. Why are you so lonely? Lately, I've been hearing that monsters from the Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls with long ears. I can believe it. After all, two girls from Windfall have already been kidnapped. Poor Maggie and Mila. It just breaks my heart to think about those two. Both of their fathers are desperate to find anyone who can rescue their poor little girls. What kind of world has this become? So much fear and suffering. Oh, the horribleness. I don't know what I'll do if I were kidnapped and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. Just a doubt of it sends shivers down my spine. Brr. There's a pussy. Let's check that. Head wanted for light, product, sorting, etc. Pays depend on experience. Inquiring at the Dragon Roost Island. No, something. There's no job application, huh? Let's break this. Oh. What? Why is he shivering? Is that wrong? Whoa, that guy's pansy. I just rolled and started shaking. Interesting. Cool. There's something spinning up there, too. What? Break this. Break it and he gets scared. Yeah. Better be scared. I don't know who you're fucking with. Well, let's leave this place. We'll come back here when it's night time. When it's more busy. But wow, that coffee shop is so tiny. This has nothing to sell. Hey, lady. She is so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has that she has about tens of tacky pennants and earrings. Except she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Huh? No. Just what are you doing? Were you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I'm not seeing you around here, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But don't you know it's bad to eat drop on conversations meant only for adult ears? We're discussing very, very important topics that kids just won't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man, so shoot. So anyway, you know that brick building at the top of the steps? Well, the gentleman who lives there has such class. Oh, I know that mysterious pictographer, Enzo, is so dreamy. Oh, he makes my heart go big flutter. But do you think the rumors could be true? Is he actually devoted to someone special? He just seems too serious about his work to be involved with somebody. 
that, luckily, who could she be? I wish someone would take a pictograph of the two of them together so we could see if the rumors are true. Oh, that'd be you two die for. Interesting. Lenzo. Oh, Lenzo. Sounds so dreamy. So that's one of the pictures I need to take, huh? What's down here? You look like curious boy. Do you know there's an island a little to the east of here called Dragon Roost Island? Folks say that the island is the home of a tribe of people who dance in the skies like birds on the wind. They call themselves the Rito, and they say a sky spirit lives nearby. But to someone like me, a person who has never left the little island, it may as well be a fairy tale out of a child's book. Oh, if only have my own boat. Dragon Roost Island, huh? Surely love to go there someday. They say it's only a little ways to the east. To the east, huh? The sky dancing in the retail tribe, a mystical sky spirit. Dragon Roost Island just sounds like a paradise floating in the ocean of my dreams. Hey, you can ride with me to the place, Dragon Roost Island. I understand how I feel. Do me a favor, beat it. What a jerk. How did he manage that? Right under my nose. But I guess he is an alright guy. You pesky little bat. Nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody. Not you. Not anybody. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? I couldn't care less. Jerk! I do. Oh really? Then how about a little test to see if you really do? I want you to take a pictograph of the first perfectly round pill thing you can think of and show it to me. Perfectly round pill thing you can think of and show it to me. A son, if you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. And I will acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring me the pictograph. Alright, I'll show you. Something round and pale. It's the sun. <laughs> now where's the sun? so hard to find. But it's getting dark too. The fuck is the sun? Oh man. These suns are easy to find in mean, real life. And in game. They're like the brightest shit. Is the sun. Guess we talk to these folks and oh what the fuck? There's a bottle here. Check it out. And we've also let us know by the city. Some chip. I know, laddie. If I had to give myself a title, I'd be known at all sailor. I'm wise, learned, experienced. Go ahead, ask me anything you want to know about the sea. I know it sounds kind of odd for me to say this about myself, but you should know that I that my mood changes for doing. I'm a whirlwind of emotion, laddie. I. But don't let that stop you from asking me anything you want to know. Ask away. So the wind blows east. Does the laddie have you seen a mountain far to the east of this island? The volcano ice with the spruce molten lava? Oh, not a nice place. Legend tells of a powerful treasure that lies waiting for one who can brave the very bowels of the earth and lay claim to it. Hey, that's a t that tale is famous amongst us sellers. That treasure, if the rumors are true, it can turn you into a titan. What, a titan? What? 
Hey, it bestows so much strength upon you, you can lift stones the size of small islands, laddie. It's a fine thing to be sure, but it's not until I get back to town again that I can really, that I can really relax, you know what I mean? And when I see the area around this fine looking gate we got here, well, that's when I really start feeling good. Yeah, that gate in particular just says, at long last, you're home, boy. I suppose that's the feeling I'm talking about. That coming home feeling. The huge gate that are there at the entrance to town is one of Windfall's Island's most famous features. No matter how much I see it, I never get tired of it, you know? Check the mail. Good morning. Welcome to Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. Oh, there's a sun. I finally found you. And now I gotta go to my item. And my to grab. Let me drive this ship. Here. Oh, fuck off. They use Stalin's for help you. Focus isn't exactly bad, but it's not quite right either. What? I gotta take a better picture. Right, bitch, I'll show you. So proud of this terrible picture. Am I supposed to be impressed? 
Let me tell you, if you don't show me a zoom in photo pictogram of my favorite thing, I can't be certain you know how to kill it. And then I'll consider you a liar. Oh, that picture was so bad, I didn't like it. Oh, this is a good picture right here. Oh, too bad. The point of focus isn't exactly bad, but it's not quite right either. Alright, you little bitch. Sailors like us, the winds are our whole life. I'm sure it'd be nice if a fair wind blew today. Huh, it's a westering wind that's blowing now. If you were to sail where this wind would take you, you end up straight shot for Dragon Wusan. I suppose telling that to an officer like yourself is a bit pointless, eh? see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on Alsted Island sent this outfit from, to me. She's an amazing girl. She put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. Oh, that's that one girl in my island. You know something? When you stand here, you see a lot of different people pass by. This is a brand new outfit, you know? I just wish someone would notice it. Whoa, what the fuck? What do you little rascals want? Want to kiss me? Alright, cool kid. This town is our turf, the turf of the royal famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yeah, buzz buzz. You stink, mister. We ain't seen your face around here before, bud. These bullies. You look like goody two shoes, and we hate goody two shoes. Can't go by walking around town pretending to be all big. Bitch, I'm big, bigger than you. Are you all alone or what? You must be pretty lonely walking around a place like this all by yourself. What are you doing anyway? Why are you wandering around here? It looks so sad. You think it's fun to go walking around town looking all pathetic? You think that makes you a big man? What are you looking at, bud? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, bud, what are you? Some kind of country root? I mean, look at the outfit. What a get-up. Talk to you again. Huh, huh, huh. Are you a hick or something? Yeah! Hey. It's just because you're older, don't think it makes you tough or anything. Yeah! Hey. Lucky man, what the ass? Hey dude. So no, I think... Kids stop following me. Okay, let's um, go on here. Damn little kids, man. Try to start shit. Hey, what's up, teacher? <laughs> Welcome to Miss Mary's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Winfrey Island? 20 years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. 
But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I would wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want to join their hearts. Do you please catch your leader, that little boy named Ivan, and toss some sense into him for me? Please, young man, for me? Sorry, lady. Oh, that does not make me joyful. Why can't you talk to these kids? Hey, there's pictures of those kids, the four kids. Let's break this. Boom. Ah, there's a knockoff. There's a globe and two plants. Globe is in the very round. Words of joy. Breathe deep and read out. Read loud and proud. Joy is hidden in all the places of the world. You must widen your eyes and search for it. The first joy you find earns you a present. With 20, you become a joy steward. With 40, you find a map to a great treasure. Aren't all these things joyous? Me, you, will all be full of joy. That's a picture of the teacher. Huh. so much. You're such a dear, dear. Such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wits and end over how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age. One day. I should think not. Good luck, young man. Here, check this out. Oh crap. Harry's dying. Time to charge the gamepad. But you got a problem with us, killer beast, huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talking to cause Miss Mary asked you to, right? <clears throat> tell us not to skip school, right bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right bud? Well forget about all that. We're the mighty invisible gang of four, the killer bees. Do you think we'll be listening to a chump like you? But I'll tell you what bud, if you wanna challenge us to a competition, then we will think about maybe listening to listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? Leave me alone. You won't be idiot. Cut the right away. Really? Can't talk to these kids anymore. Interesting. Let's go inside here. Per game for kids, you want to play or what? Sure. Yeah, okay then. Um, uh huh. Um. <laughs> Welcome to the fleet. I'm the great Emma uh, Ball Whiskey. Look shop for the or the so protectors of the island. I'm um, Emma Red Lord. All hands on deck. Sunrise shows that schools are a deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. <laughs> what? Where? Aha! Uh -huh. I see the things approach. Z are three squares groups, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. If Z allow them to come any closer, Z children on Z island will be in grave danger. Sir, take command of a new radar system to seek out and seek all these fiendishly hidden enemies. And be Vaughn, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. Z destroy Z marauding squid pods, you must score 4 direct hits on Z large. Three on Z medium and two on Z small. Just move Z crystal and press A to fire cannon. Z blast. May your aim be true. That is all. That is all. Instruction you need. Is that clear, seller? Aye, aye, sir. Excellent. So far, our best seller has managed to destroy all Z giant squid using only 20, 20 cannonballs. May you fight as bravely. <laughs> Z 
or something. The same is for game for kids. Wanna try again? Yes, please. Oh, okay, then, um, uh -huh. successfully protected the peace on the fair island. Z are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, Sailor. Is it hey, hey, hey. Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. Well, look at these pretty girls. Oh, yeah. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of a gratitude. You are so great. Oh, yeah, you got a piece of heart. Collect, you got collect total two pieces. Get two more to complete another heart container. Whoa, wait a second, 18? Hey, that's a new record. So, uh, you get this too. Oh, yeah, treasure chart. So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And, uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. <laughs> Yay! Hey, there's like another path to go in here to play a game. Dude, dude. And it's like noodles. Like three bowls or something. It's like noodles. Let's do it on the ground. Some paintings, I guess. Okay, let's go off here. See, why is it like every room just like spider webs? No, that thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered ferris wheel used to harness the wind's power to spin in quite a nifty manner. But we rarely get a fair wheel wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. I'm pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though, so if the wind blew in the right direction again, we just have to hit the power switch out back to get it moving. 
Huh, it seems like a westerly wind is blowing now. Teacher again, is it? You came here to give us a talk to because Miss Mary asked you to, right? Tell us time to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Okay, let's do the mini game. I'll take you on. Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're gonna go hide somewhere, and if you can find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try to catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island, so look for us around in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! back here. Yeah, there's one. Okay. Can you slip, buddy? See, you got hops. You got balls chucking down like that. This fine with her want me to miss Windfall Crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls. I know. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh ho ho, how do I look today? He, you know, he always show off his pictures of me just as soon as he's taking them.
seen the building. And you see there's a hole in this area. four of us and you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch. Killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chill it out and from now on we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to word your high end seeking skills, here, take this bud. Oh the piece of heart, nice. Collect three support, collect one more to increase your life energy by one heart. Uh this is our favorite possession, but you have proven that you are worthy. To our bud, the height and seek master. And one more thing, we need you to apologize to Miss Mary for us, alright? We're conning on you, bud. And I'm still trying to jump me. You're amazing, bud. You're the greatest. What a sucker. You ain't bad. Sure. Huh? Huh? How you doing? Alright, let's tell our teacher. Everything is resolved. What can I do for you on this fine day? 
We need to talk. What? I mean, you did it, didn't you? He says, Ali Tito's delinquents for me. Then you dare? You can't fool me. I watch it from the shadow of my door. You really are there. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you. So here's a little spirit change. Just money. That's it. Oh, 50 rupees. Yeah. Purple ruby. That's worth 50 rupees. That's just great. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dare. What can I do for you? We need to talk. When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, there, you will grow up to be a fine young man, and your name will go down in, in history. That's what I think, dear. I think. Here, don't you want to see this? Or... Okay, I guess she don't want that. Unless she likes butterfly pendants. Hey, sounds like you apologize to teach for us. Good old Miss Mary. And speaking of bun, do you know it's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon? Boss, oh boss, you think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're a killer beast, we ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What she's into these days, what she called them? Joy pendants. Really? Where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to teach as a present and she would be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I, saw, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light up on top of some tree in town. Where was that? <clears throat> Maybe that's one of the pennants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. <clears throat> So much for coming into my home and breaking my high price bases. You break any more, I assure you that I should not let it go lightly. No, sir, not at all. I shall require compensation. Let's see this place. shop or auction house huh so do. Yeah, yeah. hello hello you are standing in the one and only true jelly juice shop you must have heard our coaches are the best i'm telling you they're too good in fact they're absolutely incredible mm -hmm. huh what's that what's true jelly you asked looking someone to be wild you would oh sir you simply must be joking you don't know what true jelly is well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words true jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why is it a key ingredient in the most effective potions around? All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? Yeah, yeah. Bye. I'll buy it. 
Huh? What? Don't tell me you don't have an empty bottle. I can't sell you any potion if you don't have something to carry it in. It's not my law. It's the law of physics. I was hoping you could sell me the bottle, you know? I reach the rid of juices are especially made with plentiful portions of true jelly. If you get your hands on any true jelly, please, I beg of you, bring it to my shop. Too much time in this town. So you find yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up there in the tree. We thought you might find it. This him. It's gonna be Miss Mary's birthday soon. We were thinking of giving her a present. So it was a good thing that we finally got our hands on that thing. But we can't be going around giving presents to people. No way. That just don't fit the killer bee style. Come on, bud. Can you give it to your teacher? Teach for us? Can you? It's not like we could, j could ask just anybody to do it for us, neither. It's gotta be someone reliable who can keep us secret. You're the only one we could ask for, bud. Alright, found a pendant, great pendant, which I already got. She's so happy. To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else. And that, why that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, there. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. To tell you the truth, I actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest of dreams. You know what, I've been teaching here for a long time. It's time to put one past me. That means I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this there. Those sweetie... Uh, those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes there. Rubies. Very rude, that's why I really love pleasant surprise. And if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. I got one more for you. Oh, there they bring your pants here again. How many drummers do you have right now? One? Huh, well, that's not quite enough, I know. If you cut 20 of them for me, I'll give you something quite splendid. Yes, that's your homework for today, dear. Collect 20 of them. It's just not in my nature to do such scrounging for jewelry, but you can do it. Can you please wrap me in the pure joy of 20 of those delightful things? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. The fine young gentleman who gave me a joy pen in prison. How could I forget? How many did you give me again? One? My. But wasn't that nice? So, what can I do for you, young man? Talk to me. Um. Penance? Although I may be a school teacher, I have a certain flair about me, don't you think? And let me tell you, I love Julie more than anything else in the world. Huh, and why not? It's not like I can't afford it. Why? I have so much cash, I can't even afford my own Oasis Cabana. But I happen to be after a very particular kind of jewelry. You see, lately I've been rather taken with collecting joy pendants. Those are very rare trinkets that you can't buy at any store. They're quite amazing. Why, the color and their shape. I feel as I was destined to gather them. If you have any, please show them to me. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's talk. Volunteer. Tell me, dear, do you know about the Joyous Volunteer Association and the work they do? 
The association's objective is to decorate our little town with flowers and other small decorated items to make our town little, I mean, better and more joyous place. If you must know, the Saudi came into being when the shop master Zuneri arrived here. He heard about my efforts to spare joy and it moved him deeply. He asked himself, is there nothing a poor worthless margin such as myself might do to make this a better place? And then suddenly, his eyes were open. That's when I gave him a little advice. You do something that only you can do. Yes, that's what I told him here. <clears throat> it was after that he began to show an interest in volunteer activities. He apparently came from a very cold place. But let me tell you something. Despite his appearance, that Zunari is definitely one hot volunteer. <laughs> Let's talk one more time. The kids. You seen that uh, rascally gang of four walking around the plaza out there as if they own the place? Having you there? Apparently they came up with the most suitable names for their little gangs. Or so, I have heard. We be tough. We be bad. We be the toughest, baddest boys in town. Yeah, we're the killer bees. It was something like that. I guess they were looking for something of a fierce name for themselves. They sort of fell spectacularly, if you ask me. It must be nice to be young. Hey, you're young once. Yeah, being young is awesome. No responsibilities. Do error with do whatever you want. All right, I gave you the present. Uh huh. How you doing? Yeah, you're a coolest bud. One side here already, but I have one side here. Why, young sir? I must say, you seem to be in a possession of a very fine pitta box there. Are you a lover of pitta graphs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of pitta box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. And while you're here, please do visit up my upstairs pitta graph gallery. You're about to find it quite exciting, young sir. I guarantee it. But now my... Now my... But yours is a finely crafted pizza box. Once I had a pizza box, so what quality? But go ahead and witness my stunning pizza gallery, graph gallery upstairs. Where's bottles in the houses for me to break? Whoa. Oh, hold on, you. Aren't these some finely snapped pictographs? You must submit it. But come now, you need to be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing uh, diversion. Think nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs whenever I went. Wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. What is this pictograph of you, you ask? Well, these are creatures called choo -choo's, so they are said to have um, mechanical properties. So they are the most important resource treasured by sailors the world over. Why, there is even said to be an extremely rare species that they're known as the blue choo choo. It is only under very unusual circumstances that they are ever sighted. You will be most likely to ever come across one, young yeah, sir. Oh, I need a drink. Too much talking in the summertime, so my boys get to dry up really fast. This is a pretty nice pictograph. This is one of tiny rock islets resting far out in the seas northeast of here. Is that nice? There was a very dignified butler standing before the door, and I snapped his pictograph while even thinking. That aside, I'm certain this is someone's private cabana. I think that's the teacher's cabana. Oh, it's about 
door. This is an incredible pictograph. I saw this strange platform rising out of the sea, seeming seem to claw at the sky. It makes for an even stranger sal saluting? Salute? I wonder if it's such things still remain out there on the high seas, lonely on the waves. Ah, oh, if only I have a chance, I would love to see these things once again. This is a pictograph of an ISO I once visited. Is it a finally snapshot? I took it in my younger days. It is Alset Island. It is a most delightful of fishing villages, innocent and rich with nature's bounty. It was there. I met a beautiful young lass. Although I suppose she is probably not as young as she used to be these days. What kind of pictograph is this, you ask? One ill fated day, misfortune befell me, and my boat was destroyed. Clinging to the wreckage, I drifted at the whims of the waves. That's when I saw this monstrosity. The foul shed veil in the mist and fading in and out of sight like something of an hour. Yes, my young sir, this none other than the ghost ship. The rumors I have heard tell of a man who researched the reaches of the sea where the ghost ship faded in and out of sight, and that he drew a map of its movements. But it is said that as soon as the man had been drawing the lines of that cursed ship map, he died a most unexpected death, chilling, truly chilling. Now, if one were able to find that map, then it might be possible to sneak onto the ghost ship and get the treasure that is said to lurk within his hole. Oh, there's treasures back here. Go through some kind of door and get the secret stash. Not a bad pictograph, hmm? Is that not a rather mysterious statue? The statue home is one of the Triangle Island. It lies due south of here. There are a total of three Triangle Islands, the Northern, the Southern, and Eastern Triangle Islands. Each of them has a statue such as this standing on its shores. This figure chills me to the bone. The Forsaken Fortress. This place lies to the northwest of a fair iso. But it has been enveloped in filthy dark clouds of late. What are we to do against the silent evil that lingers there? If you value your life, you sir, then at the very least, you should stay as far away from that place as you possibly can. It feels as if evil that is not of this world lies in wait there, biding its time. Go up to this building somehow and I guess fly and get his secret stash. That makes a kind of jump. Jump, jump, or well, windmill jump? Yeah, it's a windmill jump. Windmill jump to death. So I need a part of windmill. Okay, got it. Visit this rich man. That looks so sad. Mm, I wonder, I wonder if a boy like you would be. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Mila, was taken away from me to a frightening place called a Forsaken Fortress. I have asked many to rescue her, but it seems to be difficult voltage to that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a week. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. But will you lend a hand to help rescue my precious daughter? No way. Oh, my life cannot get worse. And my back has been aching fiercely of late. If only I were 10 years younger. <laughs> Come on, I'll do it. Hurry up. Sure. You are a brave boy to take on this test. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you. I must money as it takes. I'll give my entire fortune for her safety. What a good father. What you do yourself, you pussy. Well, what do you think of the chances of my daughter's rescue? They say the place is called a forsaken fortress. Go now, my daughter Mila. Waste for a hero. 
Huh? What is it? You look like you want something. Don't tell me you need some funds to get you started. Yes, I do. You do want money. Oh, is that a fact? Money, huh? In that case... Let's scram. I must first test your resolve. See a place where we'll be seeing three of my bases downstairs. So which bases are they in? Stones bases and leave while paying for them. I must trotel at your like baby. Ho oh, oh. ho. Those happen to be extremely high class bone china bases that run at a minimum of 10 rubies each. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. It really was scam. Let me see now. That comes to a total of 60 rubies. It is forgiven. I shall accept your payment. When you break someone else's basis, it's only natural that you compensate them for loss. You, my boy, are in the wrong because of your destructive tomfoolery. But, and now, because of you, I'm going to be even richer, and I was quite rich before. The world is a cruel place, isn't it? Don't stand around looking like you've been swindled. Be on your way. Shit, that <laughs> bounced so quick. I'm still broken, man. And I told douche. But I'm not the type too big, you know, I just want to see a dialogue. <laughs> By the way, it might interest you that I've been renting out the first floor in my home as a so called auction house. First, the auctions are held in the evenings after dark. Ho ho, do I sense more than a little interest? Do you wish to join in as well? I do. Okay, auction house, okay. Oh, well, let's check out his house a bit more. Can't break these vases. I mean, those dishes. Got a lot of books, very organized. Picture of flowers, there's a picture of his daughter. If you care so much about his daughter, you should have pictures of her. Fireplace. Two couches. I mean, there's like no beds around here, like, do you sleep on the couches? So you have found yourself a sale, have you? Very well, then I should teach you the art of sailing. Come next to Mohan, press A to climb board. Post the sail you got with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates A, indicates wind direction. Use left to steer if you wish to move quickly, you shall keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put away the sail. Try when you want to adjust your speed. Do you, you understand all that? Yes. Ah, and one more thing. When you are out at sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. Uh, mark the place we should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get lost, a sea select map to play and a Wii U game to open your sea chart. You can also pause the game with plus and confirm your position. 
Now a westerly wind blows up and, and let it carry us to the east. So, oh yeah. Yeah, fine on the boat. is dying. Don't mm. play through the summertime? It's crazy. I need AC for this. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.